Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we're going to be looking at how to operate an electronic balance today. This is a typical looking electronic balance. It has an on switch that you push. It has a lid that you need to lift up. If you don't lift up the lid, it won't work. It cycles through some startup stuff and it should read 0.00, .00 grams. If it doesn't, you push the button that says zero and it will zero out the balance itself. We typically do not put objects directly on the balance pan. What we typically do is put a weighing boat, which is plastic, flexible, onto the pan. You can write down its mass and subtract it from numbers later, but more conveniently, you can just push the zero button and it zeroes it out. Some people refer to that as tearing, T-A-R-E, -E, to tear the balance. Now you can put objects inside there. You'll get their mass, and you don't have to subtract the mass of the weighing boat. And this is also very convenient because you can pick up the weighing boat and it can go back to your lab station with you. Now, if you're not going to use one of the weighing dishes, we have what is called weighing paper. Now, weighing paper is very much like typical wax paper that you would find at home. It comes in a square sheet. And what we do is we fold it in half, and then we fold it in half again. It does not need to be neat, don't worry. And now you have created your own little weighing boat like that. And you can zero that out, okay? You can put your powders or solids or whatever it is you happen to be weighing inside that, okay? And you'll notice we came up with the same number as we did before, okay? Now, weighing dishes can also be very tiny, okay, for when you're working with incredibly small amounts. Personally, I like this size because if you're making a solution, you can add some distilled water into this pan once you've weighed out the solid and mix it up and then transfer it to another container, all right? So this one goes to two places after the decimal. You'll find some that go to three places after, okay? This measures centigrams. There are ones that measure milligrams and ones that measure a tenth of a milligram also. Okay, thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan, signing off.